all right guys for kage here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are again on tower of god new world and on today's video i'm gonna use arena simulation to test out maxed out uh Adon, okay i was on discord server I, I saw a few comments on him i also see plenty of comments on my videos and many people really like him now it all depends on which floor you are some people telling me just one copy of Idan, Idan and he's carrying him <clears throat> now the question is from which uh, floor etc that really matters uh, but on the, today's video we're gonna see his full potential overall like I already said I, I didn't pull him so it will be a little bit problem to fully test him out but we already test him out in demo I saw overall opinions from people who I know they know what they're talking about. Uh, and overall, he's an amazing character. Now, the question is, how much you need to invest in him, right? That's always the question related to the SSR Plus characters. Because as a free-to-play, you can be ha happy that you pull one, maybe two if you saved crazy amount, maybe three of them if you get like super lucky. And that's pretty much it. So the real question is how much well he can work without dupes that i cannot test but for now we can test out his full potential uh so exclusive weapon okay let me go first one more time data add-on becomes invincible so no one will be able to uh, destroy him while he's using special move and throws the montana also hitting the enemy with the lowest current hp so pretty much he will he will be destroying those low hp characters to to deal 60 percent of the enemy's max hp as damage 500 percent of attack as damage if the target is a boss and stunning them for one second the skill always lands and if the target is paralyzed any of their skill that active when fatal damage is taken for the first time are nullified so for example yeah okay or <laughs> okay yeah i know for a fact that when he uses that yeah won't revive anymore and that's a big deal the spear rem remains stuck to the ground and he does more damage so overall he's no joke i want to test out how big of a damage he's doing i want to see how big he will do the damage then I will put some uh, characters in correlation for now we're gonna face a full purple team then we're gonna face a full red team and then we're gonna face a full green team or something like that definitely this might be a longer video but i will test him out and see his full potential right here Edan becomes immune to status effect while he's using that active and teleports to the enemy with the highest attack then strikes down the lighting to deal 620% of his attack as damage paralyzes them for 4 seconds then returns to his original position so he won't get squashed there he then increases his swiftness by 40% for 10 seconds he'll do faster attacks Data Edan creates an imp impenetrable domain for 10 seconds domain blocks projectiles so it's like a barrier and releases an electric current that deals additional damage to the enemies he becomes immune to status effects and his swiftness increases by 40 he'll be extremely fast Data Edan causes a lightning like but you know without dupes he you won't feel it like this one so definitely by testing the maxed out I might have a conclusion even for without duped okay character lightning strike whenever the final attack in his basic attack sequence lands creating a spear bearer mark that lasts 20, 20 seconds then he does the damage like he does so much just by you you doing his regular attacks first he does the damage uh, decreases the defense by 40 this is that big deal when he's maxed out but when he's not maxed out all of these stats are much much lower like for each character but for some they just work better just even without dupes one mark paralyzes the target for 0.5 seconds when it's created second mark paralyzes the target for one second and addition and deals additional 10 percent of the target's max hp as a damage uh 250 of attack is damage if the target is boss interesting three marks paralyze the target for 1.5 seconds and deals additional 20 percent of the target max hp i will call this if you remember in street fighter duel whoever played the game like a trigger skill overall he's using that normal boom 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 and then trigger skill in a way not completely where he will do additional damage paralysis and many more stuff overall on paper wonderful 
top tier character. Would I put him in the god tier? I just don't know yet. We're gonna see now depending on the damage and I will be focused on by seeing how much he messes up the opponent's side. We will do one match against purple, maybe two matches like this is the big rivals constantly. And we're gonna see. Let's play it on auto. Hmm. He dies super fast here. He died like he doesn't exist, bro. He generally died like he doesn't exist. You say, uh... Okay, now I didn't... I wasn't so much focused on opponent's side. I, I should have been. Wow, this was terrible, actually. Okay. Let me I play it. Oh, I play <laughs> replay. Goddamn. Oh, actually, we might end like wow. Kisea did three hundred and twenty-three million. Holy! This could be also like a Kisea showcase in a way, but still. Okay, let me switch like this. Come on, you have to survive this. Idan. Okay, you're maxed out, bro. I forgot to check out the exclusive equipment. My bad. Mm, I will play it. I have to play it. This is terrible. Auto is terrible. I cannot watch this. And manual is better because it's like, real, like you're facing mostly against like bots, right? In in story and everything else. So, but you're actually playing it manually because goddamn, they're slow. Auto is really slow. He's really fast. Like it. Kisea is a problem here. I'm telling you, Kisea is like a. She counters him. What? That was insane. One second. I'll put Zahart. I'm gonna do a little switching here. And here I'll put this. Come on. Don't tell me that he will die. I'm, I'm now when there is no Kisea, like maxed out Kisea, as you can see, it's a big problem. <laughs> it's a big, big problem. Holy. Uh, okay, let's go without her, but you can see what is his counter. Uh, because I believe she goes for, with the enemy. I forgot. Lowest HP or highest? Okay, finally we can use him. Okay, we had the ultimate. He died again, bro. He died again. I, but I didn't use Ivan. They killed me again, bro. They destroyed me, actually. Wow. Oh. Khan messed me up. Let me do a few quick results. So we see a little bit more about the damages. Oh, perfect. I just didn't know how to play. <laughs> huh. Okay, yeah, it really doesn't matter, guys. Like, it's about RNG here. More than anything else. Uh, 178 by Huts. Dude, I can put a replay. 259 by Data Machine. And then you have 265 million from the... Idan. Okay. Like, I believe definitely... He'll be extremely helpful character. Now we can see the replay, okay? He goes with the barrier, ultimate with him. So Kisea is a little bit of a problem. Now... Uh, I should test out his damage output somewhere else. Uh, 
Okay, still alive. Iran for the life energy. Boom, he's using that ultimate. The spear leaves here. Yeah, I, at this time I butcher them. Like, totally butcher them. A lot of RNG here. How do you start? Blah, 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 blah. Who conceals? Then this, then that. He done really good damage. Like, from how much he paralyzes the characters, from how much he messes them up in a way. I believe he done a credible job. I believe the only problem for him will be survivability. I mean, that is something that I could conclude from here. But, okay, this run actually no, but the previous runs actually yes. So let me do one more replay. Let me see. I, I just need to do many replays to make some kind of like a cool conclusion. Not cool, but <laughs> correct conclusion about this. Um, I don't think... He is like... One second. I don't think he's as valuable as Ivan from the SSR Plus, Data Machini, okay? And Zahart. I still think that I, even though I didn't test him out, I categorize him in a correct way. I still think that. Let's see again. Okay, we still won. He didn't survive much. Still, he done really good damage, but uh, nothing like godly, 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 but still really good for how long he was here. That's really good damage. Let me just test out this. Jean at his place. I need to see DPS. Wow. 454 million. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Let's do that one little switch. Wow, Zahar, chill, bro. 154, 41 million. Okay, this time he actually may get the most out of the damage. Uh, okay, so this is the conclusion. Like, paralysis... And everything else what he adds to the table is definitely high valuable character and definitely i would put him in high priority although his big weakness although there is a way to avoid that uh let me put it like this boom okay and then i need to remove her and place like this let me give it a shot now Jean saved me here, 100%, yeah, 415 million, he just dies. He, like, she just finishes him off. 210 million, she's like the main, he, he say is the real deal here. But I believe she needs, like, a, so much more investment to work like this than him, in a way, if you understand me what I'm saying. Uh, so this is my conclusion. Okay, so don't get me wrong. I still believe, like, look at this, we're gonna win every time because... We're gonna do some changes now. We're gonna see how much value... Yeah. He just dies here, bro. No matter where I put him, he will die. But what if I do this? Shibisu doesn't have high HP. And they both die. Still, Jean pull it through. Okay, yeah. Kisea really dangerous, but Jean is on a complete freaking another level. Like, Kisea is the way to go with damage dealing, of course, with what she is capable of. Uh, add one. <laughs> like, let's get real. Many people will get one copy of him, two copies, maybe three the tops from the free to play. Like, if you get like truly, truly, insanely, insanely, insanely lucky, uh, he will be a valuable character for sure. But I don't think he's nothing game changing nor a character that you need to have him to progress or anything like that uh this is interesting if boss like he will do so much more uh when he's facing against the boss so i believe he will be the way to destroy the bosses 
that paralyzes and trigger attacks like i said can be really good the blood like he just needs to survive that first wave of, of attacks okay he just needs to survive that he's extremely fast he will dot uh, done a lot of uh attacks and of course with that stun and paralysis can help you a ton and that stick and overall yeah he can be really insanely helpful for disrupting the strategy of an opponent uh this time we're gonna go with mixed teams john is too broken i i just cannot maxed out john there is no point of using it <laughs> it's too broke <laughs> okay uh now for this one we're gonna go like this zahart we're gonna go a little bit in the rat characters so we can see about that boom boom and here we can easily uh take let's see how he's gonna work in this kind of team let me go with quick result if i see something interesting we're gonna replay it yeah we we butcher it we butcher it yeah i don't need to even replay nothing 200 like <laughs> 355 million wow he can be actually insane dps guys because of those triggers i believe because longer he's alive more normal hits he's gonna do and at the same time he will do more damage over time so i believe definitely he'll be insane against the bosses this is my conclusion here uh pvp okay yes but there is just like metas and by now we have many other ssr plus duped characters uh but definitely need to do more testing for him without dupes and everything else but i can see him as highly valuable character that can do both dps and interrupting uh, paralyzing stunning the enemies creating that barrier but he just cannot survive Kisea. okay <laughs> like when you see Kisea, i don't know good luck but uh Kisea needs to be like built up like truly built up to work like this at the same time so still needs testing without dupes in in the real situation another dream situation here uh but still a highly valuable character i wouldn't put him in god tier but i would definitely put him in that tier below or something like that we're gonna see about the tier list still i will see your comments and many more things when he is alive he does so much here as you can see longer he's alive that attack increase and many other things like um boom 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 like he's getting better and better over time and that is the reality of him he gets faster he becomes stronger he does bigger damages dps passive damages so definitely a highly valuable character for the bosses and in the story when you build him up for interrupting stunning paralyzing the opponents at the same time it depends what are you facing against here okay mm. let's go back we're gonna do one change here now and we're gonna push you on here no sorry john let's see how much she can carry even without yellow typings i believe that won't be the case she's dangerous but without yellow team not not so much okay again he did pretty crazy damage yep 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 yep, yep. he's doing like biggest dps right here uh which is like super good super good but he needs that survivability okay he he will have that a little bit weakness he might die fast that is just how i see it from these testings but it all depends on situation okay so the red units like mm, what if i put in my mix aquarium i want to see that let me create a little bit more mixed teams enemies okay fine let me go to some other color here i mean let me see this <laughs> yeah wow i managed to go through this wow okay okay really like 
as long as he survives you're good bro because over time he will go nuts 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 and plus here aquarium does also that insane damage so he has some kind of a role okay th this might sound weird but similar it's not even close similar like how everything is working but just that little part like aquarium giving you so much with those paralysis paralysis stuns but he only increases to himself that swiftness attack you know and that's why aquarium is on another level so yeah that i see a little bit similarities both of them like crazy dps really well uh okay interesting so this team actually managed to be that let me go with a full like many people praises green units so let me just try this a little bit and here i'll put him in the mix to see how much he can dis disrupt me because my units yeah he won't do much yeah, it's a little bit too strong here on 32 million 272 million again doing massive damages here he is insane combination with Huarium, guys. Okay, I can tell you right away. Insane combination. Because she's going to increase his swiftness. And as he will use more and more ultimates, he will get better. And that is his trick. And that's why he will be so good against the bosses. Hitting the enemy with the lowest current to experience of that matter. And stunning them. The skill always lands. And if the target is paralyzed, any of the skills can activate when fatal damage is taken. That's a really good. The spear remains stuck. He will do insane damage on that one. But there is that part. This is the part which which is like really, really well. Yeah, this is that swiftness. Okay, so his active is like super good. Uh, and I set attack up. I maybe set it. Yeah, I don't see... Yeah, Swiftness, he becomes faster and faster. So if you add um, buff, I believe that, yeah, Quarium can attack buff and add Swiftness. He doesn't, okay? He does those passive things. But definitely he increases his Swiftness. That's why he gets so much better over time. And as the time goes, he will stun and paralyze more and more characters. And with it, he will do bigger, bigger damages. Uh, okay we have a pretty decent conclusion about him blue characters guys i don't even need to try they're gonna lose okay against this team like for him this might be one of the best teams i see this potentially let me try out a few more times but you can literally copy paste this team and try him out and trust me he's gonna work like a charm if you don't have hots you can even put bomb here it's gonna also work um let's go purple This time I'll take her also. And can he take... Let's see now. And he's a really important role in a team, as you can see. Wow, the Kisea is really stupid. Like, she is the counter for this type of stuff. Generally, she is the counter. I will remove her. I will add Karak or someone else. And you're going to see a complete different outcome. Yep. This is how it went. Fine. Uh, he died quickly. Again, she done like the biggest damage. But then again, nothing like John level. Like stupidly broken character. This is like, that's the difference. That's the god tier. Oh, I, I did a big mistake here. My bad. Now I see. You're probably Rokage. What the hell are you doing? So uh, I'm using like full purple team. We're gonna, we won't do that. We're gonna take Zahart, for example, here, and then we're gonna go because it's unfair. Let's see now when we have a fair battle. He dies immediately first. Quarium, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're just better. Like, but if I remove Kisea and I put Machini we have a different story because he will survive and then it's a different story when he survives okay so that's the okay 100 percent that's the conclusion he done again really 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 well damage like big damage he is on a rank of dps like huts um but huts i believe um he's just like better working dps he can like if, even if he stays alone he will that survive he's insane in that way uh but definitely like 
Aquarium, Idan, they can do like similar DPS, right? So this is the level of DPS. He does a lot of increased swiftness. That's why in time he will get better and better. But if he dies immediately, you won't have much abuse of him. Uh, without dupes, it depends. He's that type of the character that he's relying a little bit on dupes. Because you want to get that swiftness as high as possible. Okay? Uh, but that's that. This is my way of testing the brand new Aidan. Definitely a top tier character. Uh, not game changing. Not a must have. You can do well without him. He won't carry you through the high floors like crazy. Unless you fully build, build him up. Blah 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 blah. But definitely I would like to get him. Not gonna lie. It's crazy good with uh, Huarium. And Hot's yellow combination. Like this triple yellow combination. And Jeon bro. This shit, you don't even have to have hots. Look at this now. You don't even have to have hots. Like this triple combination, Huarium, uh, Huarium, Jean, uh, Edan, or um, Hots, uh, Edan, Huarium, that's insane combination. I'm telling you right away because he's gonna do so much. Okay, that's that. Love ya, and see you next one. Bye.